In this video, we will be setting up the crosshair using UMG or Unreal Motion Graphics so that way the player knows where they're aiming when they fire. Keep in mind, anything individually covered in this series has its own video. Let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to set up a UMG widget and this widget is going to be what is displayed to show the HUD for our character. Let's go ahead and create a new folder in our blueprints called UI so we have somewhere to store it. Now to create a UMG widget we'd go down to user interface, widget blueprint, and then we're going to name it. We'll name ours HUD just to make it easy. And let's go ahead and open it up. Now by default our HUD is going to have nothing in it and we're going to want to add a crosshair. So in order to make an easy crosshair we're just going to add an image to our canvas and we're going to make sure it's centered and it looks like a crosshair. To easily center we can just use our anchors and click center and then go ahead and reset our position to 0 and 0 and that's going to go ahead and center it at the anchor point. Now since our anchor point is the top left let's go ahead and change our anchor point to the middle which is half and half and now we have a perfectly centered square. Now it's not an actual square because we have it set to size X and Y. If we change these to 0 and 0 and size to content we now have our basic image, which is centered based on the brush itself, which is 32 by 32. Now let's go ahead and look for a crosshair and set this up. Now, like I said earlier, we are not going to use any assets that we add. We're going to use our own individual assets that come with the engine. But when you click here, you notice we have none. Well, that's because we don't have the engine content displayed. If we go down to view options and choose show engine content, We'll now have access to all of the content that comes with the default engine install. Let's go ahead and look for cross. And we can see that we actually have a cross here. Now let's set that up. And there we go. We actually have a little cross here in the center of our screen. Now if we were to play this right now, well, we're not going to see anything. We haven't actually added the cross here to our screen. So what we're going to do is need to set it up properly. But I don't really like this cross here. Well, if we wanted to, we could scroll through this list and look at everything, or we could use our content browser to try to find it easier. Let's do that. When we go back to our content browser on our main screen, you now notice you have engine content and engine C++ classes in your browser. Let's go to the content, and let's try to find the images. Now we could browse through all of these, or we could use a filter. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do filters. And let's find images or materials, oh, textures, there we go. And now you'll find all the textures that are exposed in this content browser. If we want, we can increase the scale. And let's see if we can find something a little more appropriate. Oh, actually, there we go. We're going to go use this one, the target icon. Now, since we have the target icon selected in our content browser, if we go back to our HUD and we go back to our image, we have a little arrow here. Use selected asset from content browser. If we click on it, we'll now change to the new asset. This is a little bit big. I don't think we need one quite that size, so let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's make it more like 64 by 64. So let's change our size here. And since we have set up our image canvas panel settings to size to content, when we change the size of our image, it'll automatically change it on the screen. So there we go. Now, the next thing we might want to do is actually put it on the screen. So let's go ahead and set up an event, and we're going to put the HUD on the screen. Now, there's a few different ways of doing this. You could have it created during level creation, your game mode could manage it, your controller, your player. There's various ways. We are going to go ahead and put this in our player, because I'm thinking, what if we had multiple players? And maybe it's like the older Aliens vs. Predator game, where each class or character was unique and they all had their own unique HUD. If we create the HUD inside the player, whenever we possess a player or spawn that player, we're going to get a unique HUD. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go back to our character. Right now, for example, if we're done with our engine content, we can go ahead and uncheck it and go ahead and hide it for now. Let's also undo texture for the filter so we can see everything. So character, first person shooter character and open the full blueprint. Now you may have noticed when I went into there, the other screen popped up with all the defaults. If you have no code, 
it's going to think it's a data only blueprint and it's going to pop up just the data and you're not going to see any of this. If you have that, you simply click on show, flu show full details at the top like I did. So let's create our new function and then hook up the new function. Let's get rid of the things we're not going to need. We're not going to do anything on tick or begin overlap, but we will do it on begin play. Now we can create everything in here inside of our main event graph, or we could use functions to try to keep things a little more compact. For example, let's say we're doing something like creating a HUD. Well, that sounds like something we may either want to do more than once or is actually compact enough to consider its own function. So let's make a function called create HUD using functions add function. We'll go name that create HUD and we'll go ahead and start editing it. Now widgets are pretty simple. Basically we need to create them and then add them to either the player's viewport or the player screen. Since we're doing the single player, we're gonna add it to the viewport. So it's pretty simple. We're gonna create a widget. We're gonna choose our HUD for the widget itself. Our return value is here. We're gonna add this to the viewport because as you can see, we have add to player screen and add to viewport. Viewport is what we use for the most part because we are not doing multiplayer, we're not doing split screen. We know we're designing this around single player right now and the viewport is what the player can see. So we'll go ahead and add it to the viewport. Now, if we go ahead and hit play, well, we still have nothing. Well, why is that? Well, even though we've gone ahead and created our HUD here, we haven't actually told our player to use that function. So if we grab our function from the list, drop it, we now have a node for create HUD. We hook it up. Now if we were to hit play, now we have a crosshair in the middle of the screen. Now we know where our center point is and we know if we're firing exactly where we'll be firing at every point in time. So that is it. That is creating our crosshair. In the next lesson, we will be setting up the line trace so that way when we fire, we are actually going to be able to do something and track what we hit.